The House Select Committee investigating the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol held a hearing last night that was broadcast live on television. This is the first in a series of hearings to unveil evidence uncovered during the investigation. Natalie Brand has our update from Washington. Showing new video and releasing new details, the Select Committee investigating the January 6th U.S. Capitol attack began laying out its case against former President Donald Trump. January 6th was the culmination of an attempted coup. Donald Trump oversaw and coordinated a sophisticated seven-part plan to overturn the presidential election and prevent the transfer of presidential power. Committee Vice Chair Liz Cheney said the former president did not make a single call to law enforcement to protect the Capitol. Then Vice President Mike Pence did. That day, it was just hours of hand-to-hand -hand combat. Capitol Police Officer Caroline Edwards, who suffered a traumatic brain injury, described the Capitol as a war zone that day. I, I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. The next hearing is scheduled for Monday. The committee says it will show the former president's inner circle told him claims of election fraud were false. I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was a respect to Attorney General Barr. Um, so I accepted what he said was saying. But Vice Chair Cheney says Pennsylvania Congressman Scott Perry and multiple GOP congressmen sought presidential pardons for their roles in attempting to overturn the election. We have the documentation. House GOP leaders have called the investigation political and illegitimate. CBS News spoke to Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger, one of two Republicans on the panel. History is going to judge this time. Uh, and it's going to people are picking sides right now on what side of history they want to be judged on. The committee expects to release its full report this fall after several more hearings this month. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Capitol Hill.